Penn State hosting Minnesota as they battle for the governor's victory bell here in Happy Valley. Back one game today as well to keep that Penn State defense honest. Starting in the backfield is Rodney Smith, and they do give it to Smith. A little bit of a second effort got him a couple yards to the right of center, tackled by the corner Christian Campbell. Pro style. We'll continue to track those Penn State linebackers as Widener goes play action, and he completes it on the run to Drew Wolitarski. So we just talked about him a couple moments ago, and Wolitarski hauls second and six. Up the gut again with Rodney Smith. And that surge will get him a first down. Get it 10, no score, 338 first quarter. And there's the other man, Shannon Brooks. Down near the 20 for a Minnesota first down. If it's not Smith, it's Brooks. It's a great one-two combo out of the back. back. Don't want to get, take a sack or force anything. Third and goal from back deep, and Leitner wants to take off. He trips. Try to Strider, five for five in the field goal department. Six of six. Right down Broadway in Minnesota. Strikes first. In this first series. He's going to move up in the pocket. Deep high arcing ball, and he's got his man, DeAndre Tompkins. Happy 21st birthday, DeAndre Tompkins. He has been targeted early in this one. Now they go back to Barkley. Up the middle for a good gain of eight. Just an FBS football. Minnesota's, Minnesota's showing zone pass defense. McSorley tries to take off, dives, and did not get in. He got close, but Galen Elmore didn't. Barely got the snap off. It is good. He has made 15 straight as Tyler Davis. Defensively, you have to stay at home for the cutback play. First play of this drive is a pitch out to the left side to Tyler Johnson, the freshman from Minneapolis. The talent and ability that he has. Kobe McCreary, his first carry of the game. Across the 50, it's a nice first carry. Into Penn State territory and down to the 40 before he's wrangled down the previous five years at Louisiana in the same role. Out of the backfield, it's Smith. Pushed out amongst his teammates on the near. Still searching for that first third down conversion in this game. He needed to get to the 30, and they're coming in right near the mark. Behind the quarterback, Leidner. The give is to Brooks, and with that second surge, he got it. Great second effort by Shannon Brooks, because Penn State bottled that up. On defense, they are happy to have Cawthron in the fold. Second down. Leidner right side completes it. And getting down near the 10, Drew Woldatarski, his first or second catch of the game. 0 of 5 on third downs, but 56% coming into this game on conversions on third. Penn State rushes five, throw over the middle, complete. And the last gasp gets him in. Drew Woldatarski, third touchdown of the season. When in doubt, go to your go-to receiver. Exactly what Mitch Leidner did. Found his, his man. He's in sixth of the career for the senior. Really came on last year when he had three touchdowns, and now he's already even that total in 2000. Back to the right arm. Deshaun Hamilton. He gets out of bounds over to Penn State sideline. This game had one early. And it will be Barkley up the middle. Into Minnesota territory to the 49. 18. What does Trace McSorley have up his sleeve here? Pressure coming again off his back foot. Just flings it away. And now Penn's two timeouts now. You want it when you get under 30 seconds, you need to call a timeout quick. Second six there is Woldatarski. Second effort gets him near the first down marker, but right now they need to be. And then be ready to call timeout if you don't 
stop the clock. They do snap it at 30. Wolitarski trying to get outside. He has the first. Especially with two timeouts. Brent Pry imploring his Penn State defense for one more stop to keep this a 10-3 game. Leitner fires a fastball again. Wolitarski. Opportunity. Still one timeout for the Gophers. Slipping through the hole to the 25 and a couple extra for Rodney Smith. The 35 yarder. Snap and hold good. Kick good as well. Well, you see. Trace McSorley from the gun. Steps up, throws. Was he past the line? He throws to Charles. Completed. third downs maybe they hurt us put an exclamation mark on that first third down conversion telling them to get on their feet and they are standing at Beaver Stadium and it's batted away Jordan Smith there defensively Field position you want to take advantage when you have it it's been hard to come by start this one from inside the 45 play action they're going for the home Trace McSorley throws and it is incomplete. Crowd was booing. They thought there was interference over there on Godwin, but the pressure was brought by Julian Huff, who was dropped. This would tie it. And he does sneak it inside the right upright. And with that field goal, not only. So now first and ten, and Leidner will keep. And he'll slide forward down around the 48. There's your run game out for Mitch Leidner off the. 16 to 3. Penn State has scored the last 10. Now here's a big third down for the Gophers. Not going to get anywhere close. Stuffed. Several blue jerseys in there, including the free safety mark. Oh, interesting. Now the fake throw, and McSorley, nice little juke. Kept the defender frozen, and he takes off to pick up the back up to the line and then returning to the shotgun. Second and ten. Stepping up. Oh, he's got Kasicki! Tackled at the five from behind by Jalen Myrick. How did Mike Kasicki get behind the coverage, Chuck? Not sure what Jalen Myrick did there. He had him in coverage. Official. So now second goal. McSorley fakes to Barkley, takes off, and Trace McSorley is in, and Penn State leads. Good tough play by McSorley. Point after good by Tyler Davis. Games. But up front, they have retooled, and they've got good size. Shifting outside, Rodney Smith across midfield. Wow, he got the, from the middle of the field to Smith. They go to Shannon Brooks in the backfield. They need four yards. Trying to run left side, and it's wide open. Shannon Brooks with a house call. And that quiets the 80,000 at Beaver Stadium, and a PAT will tie it. There was a gaping hole on the left-hand side. Shannon Brooks now nine touchdowns in 12 career games. The PAT just does sneak in left. The sophomore Barkley completing it. Now can Gasicki find the sticks? He cannot. Fourth down. And a really nice week was his first game returning from a broken bone in his right foot. And now they said he's full go this week. He's looked full go. Speaking of full go, Leitner completing it over the middle on a big pass to Drew Wolitarski. And that arm strength for Mitch Leitner on that throw. Now from Penn State's 39. 
Smith with a nice hole. He's got 10 yards to the 29. Get Third and eight. Hand off and tackled back at the 19. So they try to stretch it out to the left side. Is perfect on the 2016 season. And he is still perfect. Ice water in the veins of Emmett Carpenter and the Gophers are back in the driver's seat. Good clock management by Minnesota. The backfield, so third and 10 for Penn State. And here comes more pressure off his back foot. Face McSorley, but he needs to have a little more magic in his hat. Across the field, complete. That clock's gonna run now, they have to hurry. Davis just 40, but he hasn't attempted anything over 50 this season. Oh, McSorley stepping up, he's got a lot of room to run. Inside the 30 and stepping out at the 21. He now has 73 yards rushing. He's done it with his arm and his legs. Only two plays left. Take a shot. He's taking a shot, and it's incomplete. Jalen Myrick on the coverage of Chris Godwin. That's a hold. Second and nine. Off play action, pocket collapses, and down goes Mitch Leidner thanks to Evan Schwan. You want to make sure you get enough to get a decent field goal kick. From here, it would be 45 yards, and it's going to be about a 45-yarder. Underthrown, Garrett Sickles for Emmett Carpenter. He's three for three in this one. And he is four <laughs> of four. How about the two kickers in this game, Carpenter Whoa. and Davis? They're both the MVPs of this game. 335 yards passing, a touchdown, and no interception so far for McSorley. This time it's Barkley! Cutting inside! Barkley touchdown! all the way into overtime and Penn State and McSorley bottom line is they just found a way on the winner Barkley scores it and they improved to three and two thanks everyone for joining us our final score Penn State 29 Minnesota 26 stick around State Farm postgame show coming up